Hello. For the exam replacement assignment of information retrieval and web search module, I chose a research paper from SIGIR 2022, which focuses on online recommendations and proposes a locally sensitive state guided experience replay optimization for sparse rewards. My name is Abhinav Tiwari and I start the presentation. The aim of the paper was to propose a novel state-aware experience replay model. This paper contributes in the field of online recommendations. Online recommendations require handling rapidly changing user preferences. Deep reinforcement learning is an effective means of capturing users' dynamic interests during interactions with recommender systems. Generally, it is challenging to train a DRL agent in online recommender systems because of the sparse rewards caused by the large action space and comparatively fewer user interactions. Leveraging experience replay has been extensively studied to conquer the issue of sparse rewards. However, they adapt poorly to the complex environment of online recommender systems and are inefficient in learning an optimal strategy from past experience. As a step to filling this gap, the paper proposes a novel state-aware experience replay model in which the agent selectively discovers the most relevant and salient experiences and is guided to find the optimal policy for online recommendations. The DRL deep reinforcement learning based recommender systems which naturally fit the online recommendations cover three categories of methods. First is deep queue learning, second is policy gradient, and third is the hybrid of both. So DQN and policy gradient are better suited for small action and state spaces. Hybrid approaches is a mix of the two, combines the benefits of queue learning and policy gradient methods. So this paper uses a hybrid actor critic networks capability of mapping huge high dimensional discrete state spaces into low dimensional continuous spaces. Actor critic network adopts policy gradient on an actor network and queue learning on a critique network. To achieve, to achieve Nash equilibrium on both networks. Actor critic networks have been widely applied to DRL based recommender systems. Now we come to the related works. Jeng et al. were the first to use deep reinforcement learning DRL in recommender systems. Chao et al. works further utilized it in a page-wise suggestion situation. Both of these works use vanilla experience replay to assist the agent's learning from prior experience, while deep queue learning is used to embed user and item information for new suggestions. For sampling experiences, the default experience replay uniformly pulls data from the replay buffer. Jaw et al employ deep queue learning to generate online recommendations and recurrent neural networks to generate state embeddings. Intuitively, some instances are more important than the others. So a better experience replay strategy is to sample experiences according to how much the current agent can learn from each of them. While such a measure is not directly accessible, Proxies propose to retain experiences in the replay buffer or to sample experiences from the buffer. Chen et al. found that traditional methods like DQN become intractable when the state becomes higher dimensional and ad addressed the intractability by mapping high dimensional discrete state into low dimensional continuous states. For difficult control tasks, prioritized experience replay 
creates a special importance sampling technique and employs the TD error to calculate the value of experiences in order to reduce the impact of bias. Given that on policy modifications are better suited for guiding the current policy, ref experience replay actively enforces the similarity between the policy and the experience in the replay buffer. The advantages of PER prioritized experience replay and ref ER are combined in a technique for experience replay termed AER, attentive experience replay. An attention score is used to determine the degree of state similarity and replace the experiences with a high degree of state similarity are given precedence. The goal of selective experience replay ACR is to speed up the storing process by selectively storing important occurrences. The main idea is to keep only pertinent memories in a long short term memory LSTM network. All DRL based recommendation methods currently in use with the exception of those based on policy gradients, heavily rely on experience replay to draw lessons from the past in order to avoid traversing the state action space again and to stabilize the training on big, sparse state and action spaces. If the replay buffer is overloaded with interactions, the policy learning may suffer. Furthermore, Current experience replay techniques are mostly created for games with a small pool of discrete actions as opposed to the larger, more varied pool of continuous activities necessary in recommendation jobs. As a result, a basic implementation of such methodologies could produce significant biases during the policy learning process, which would prevent the outcomes of the best recommendation from being generalized. Only the experience with the greatest temporal difference error should be replayed according to SCOL et al. Prioritized experience replay is the name of this technique, PER. Sun et al. propose attentive experience replay, AER, to improve the efficiency of detecting similar states experiences. Although attention mechanisms are ineffective on huge state and action spaces. Now we come to the methodology applied. The goal of online recommendation is to find the best way to capture real-time interactions between users and recommender systems. The Markov decision process is used by the system to evaluate user activities and dynamically alter the suggestion policy. Iteration by iteration, the system calculates cumulative reward as shown in the figure. In a typical recommendation iteration, the agent takes action A0 based on the recommended policy Pi0 under the observed state S0 and receives a reward R0. Then the agent generates a new policy Pi1 based on received reward R0 and determines the new state S1 based, based on probability distribution P. Thus, a cumulative reward is calculated. Now, locality sensitive experience replay LSER, which is the proposed method of this paper, is proposed for online recommendations which uses hashing for dimension reduction when sampling and storing the experiences. Prioritized and crucial past experiences are stored and replayed for training purposes in a replay buffer. The authors suggest utilizing a P-stable distribution to do dimensionality reduction while keeping the original distance in order to measure the similarity of high-dimensional vectors without sacrificing a lot of information. By doing this, high-dimensional vector states are transformed into low-dimensional representations that the similarity measure can handle more easily. The authors also analyze the collision probability for the P-stable distribution to prove that proposed method has a reasonable upper and lower bounds for collision property. The authors give theoretical proof of soundness of LSER 
the locality sensitive experience replay, stating that similar states can be found efficiently by considering it a neighbor finding problem. A neighbor finding problem is a famous problem in the in the online recommendation space. There are two important aspects of the proposed method LSER. And those two aspects are the storage strategy and sampling strategy. The storage strategy says that rather than using the FIFO method, the first in first out method, this research suggests a state aware reward driven experience storage strategy that eliminates the experience with the lowest reward. And the second part is sampling strategy. Sampling strategy deals with selecting experience for optimization in LSER. The authors propose a state aware reward driven sampling strategy that only replace the experience with the top and highest rewards in the same hashing area. The strategy is called state aware because state is encoded by hash key and experiences are replayed based on the hash key. This strategy is claimed to have a higher chance of replaying the correct experience than the uniform sampling. The authors further state ways to address three challenges faced by the sampling strategy. First challenge is the exploitation versus exploration dilemma. What is the exploration versus ex exploitation dilemma? The exploitation and exploration dilemma is a well-known dilemma when training an agent for reinforcement learning, including LSER, the proposed method. While the reward-driven strategy forces the agent to exploit existing high rewarding experiences, the agent may converge to a suboptimal policy instead of the global optima. We use a similar method to epsilon greedy to achieve a trade-off between exploitation and exploration. Bias annealing. Bias annealing is the second challenge that I was mentioning here. So bias annealing is prioritizing partial experiences among the replay buffer may introduce inductive bias. The training process is highly non-stationary due to changing policies. Even a small bias introduced by the sampling strategy may change the solution that the policy converges to. A common solution to this problem is to let the priority anneal periodically so that the agent can visit those less replayed experiences. By using the threshold, the epsilon greedy method has a similar effect as annealing on allowing low priority experiences to be replayed. And the third challenge that I was mentioning is the non-existence dilemma. When splitting the projective space into areas to initialize hyperplanes, some areas may not have any data points, especially when the number of hyperplanes is large. To, to, to visualize the hyperplanes, you can see the figure I have shown here. So, when splitting the projective space into areas to initialize hyperplanes, some areas may not have any data points, especially when the number of hyperplanes is large, causing the non-existence dilemma. Similarity measure is used to overcome this problem. Now, for the training part of this methodology, deep deterministic policy gradient is used for training because of its recent dominance in enabling dynamic recommender systems. Now I come to the hashing figure which I developed using a 3D drawing tool. So here you see there are three planes and there are multiple points 
that the three planes are cutting in, th in the 3D space. And the each hyperplane splits the space into two parts, zero and one. And when multiple hyperplanes cut those points, we can have binary numbers representation for each of the dots like zero zero one zero one zero zero one one like that now we come to the evaluation carried out for evaluation virtual tb an online simulation platform was selected as the primary platform to replicate online recommendation in actual apps Rexim and Recogym, two other platforms, were also employed. For Virtual TB and Recogym, the evaluation criteria was the click-through rate, while for Rexim, it was quality score. The authors begin by using Deep Deterministic Policy Gradient DDPG frameworks to compare the proposed LSER with the typical ER variance. ER is experienced replay here. Prioritized ER, dynamic ER, attentive ER, selective ER, and hindsight ER are the ER baselines used with the same training strategy as LSER and appropriately chosen size of replay buffers. Results show that LSER outperforms all the baselines. The usefulness of LSER is then approved by replacing the original ER with LSER in the DRL-based recommender system approaches TPGR, KGRL, and PGPR. TPGR is Tree Structured Policy Gradient Recommendation, which is a tree structured reinforcement learning based method for large scale recommendations. Similarly, KGRL is Knowledge Guided Deep Reinforcement Learning Policy PGPR is policy guided path reasoning. Ablation study is also done and shows that out of the sampling and storage strategy of LSCR, sampling strategy has more impact on performance. Now with more hyperplanes, if you remember the figure I showed in one of the previous slides, there are hyperplanes cutting the 3D space. So when there are more hyperplanes, performance increases, but beyond 20 or more, the performance plateaus and even degrades. For stability, LSER modifies the epsilon greedy and reward thresholds. And here you see a bar chart, which compares the running time for DER, PER, SER, AER, and HER. The full form is given here. LSCR achieves high computational efficiency for large environments provided by virtual DB as shown in the chart. Now we come to conclusions drawn from the evaluation. So in order to address the suboptimality and training instability difficulties with reinforcement learning for online recommender, recommender systems, this research presented state-aware, reward-driven experience to play. Online recommendation is viewed by LSER as a continuous job, and it uses locality-sensitive hashing to assess state similarity and reward for effective experience to play. The authors assessed LSER on a number of state-of-the-art experience to play approaches on three benchmarks, virtual TB, Rexim and Recogym, which are online simulation platforms, in order to demonstrate its practicality and superior performance. Future research will focus on improving stability and developing more sophisticated reinforcement learning techniques. Now we come to an important section of this presentation, which is critique of the paper. So I have listed a, a set of points which I, I felt the paper did good or lacked. So I present the critique points. First is, 
source code has not been shared by the authors. As a result, the, repro the reproducibility of the results cannot be confirmed. The work would have been more useful if the source code had been made available. Virtual TB, the second point, Virtual TB, RexSim and RecoGym are three online simulation applications that have all been studied. But RecoGym and RexSim offer a limited amount of data points and do not account for users' shifting interests. And dynamic interests is an, a very important part of recommender system. Therefore, only virtual TV, the only the evaluation over virtual TV is noteworthy here. The third point is the inconsistent choice of evaluation metrics. The authors say that click through rate was, was utilized as the assessment statistic for virtual TV and Reco Gym, while quality score was used for Rexim which is inconsistent. Ideally, if, was, if the same metric was used for all the three, all the three tools, it would have been a better comparison. The next point in the critique is, the studies click-through rate or quality score are not described in any findings or insights. The authors mentioned that click-through rate and quality score was used as metric but no result mentioned what the values were corresponding to these parameters and the next point is a good one that the authors thoroughly examine their experiments state encodings and sampling are expressed as functions in the algorithm the authors offer which employs a dictionary to show how the LSH memory works. Another good point is two evaluation criteria and multiple simulation platforms are used to run a variety of test scenarios, which shows how comprehensive the study was. The suggested LSER approach experience replay feature is compared to and validated using baselines, which is good. E and there are many base baselines used, five to be exact. Each of the five baselines used places emphasis on different types of experience-based learning. This guarantees that a wide range of situations are addressed and confirms the accuracy of the solution that has been suggested. The LSER approach has undergone extensive testing to demonstrate its superiority to currently used methods using criteria including computational efficiency, ablation study, and research with regard to various backbone algorithms, like I mentioned, of the sort of TGPR, KGRL, those. So, overall, there are few very good points and a few points which if taken care the paper would be more useful but overall uh, it's a very good it's a very good read it gives a very good insight and a very good contribution into the online recommendation system space I have mentioned the references I used for the text that I have used throughout the slides. This ends my presentation. Thank you.